hello everyone welcome to the channel i'm very excited to share with you with this brand new model called as mask gct mask gct is an advanced ai model that converts text into natural sounding speech unlike other models it doesn't need precise timing information to match text with speech in this video we are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works before we do that let's have a very quick look as what exactly is the model architecture and how it works in very simple words at a very high level there are two stages in which this model works in the first stage the model reads text and predicts meaningful speech patterns which are called as semantic tokens in the second stage the model uses these patterns to predict how the speech should sound which is called as acoustic tokens unlike traditional models that generate speech one step at a time this mask gct generates speech all at once so it is not a auto regressive model rather it is an non auto regressive model because auto regressive models only rely on previous steps to predict the next whereas this model doesn't which makes it more quality oriented and this model learns by predicting missing information like filling in the blank which they call as mask and predict learning in their paper this model also learns from speech data without human labels so it means that it has got speech self supervised learning mask gct in various benchmarks has already outperformed top dts models in quality similarity and clarity even with no prior training data which is quite impressive so let's see how can we get it installed before that let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of gpus so do check them out let me take you to my terminal where i'm running this ubuntu 22.04 um, and my gpu card is nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gpu of vram and i will also show you the gpu consumption once everything is up and running let me create a virtual environment with conda which will keep everything separate and that shouldn't take too long let me git clone the repo of this model and the repo's name is mfian and if i'm not mistaken mfian is a very popular i think audio manufacturer i'm not sure if they are the same or different but anyway and that is done next up we need to create the environment within this repo so i'm just going to run this script which is already present in their repo and this is going to install a lot of requirements so let's wait for it to finish everything is installed we also need to install this espeak so let me run it let's wait for it it's already done that is great let me clear the screen and this completes the installation now in order to run it in a gradio demo in the graphical user interface all you need to do is to run this command from the root of the repo let me run it and before i do that let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content agent ql works on any page it is resilient it is reusable and it structures the output according to the shape of your query and i will drop the link to their website in video's description okay so let me take you back to the terminal and now let's run this gradio demo first time when you run it it also downloads the models from marking quiz so let's wait for it to get downloaded and then we will launch it uh, it will automatically launch in the browser and we will play around with it it is still downloading various models and it is not just one model if i take you to their hugging face page and if i sc quickly scroll down they have mentioned all of the, sorry slightly up there you go so they have slightly 
Um, so they have mentioned all of these models. So for example, we have the semantic codec, acoustic codec, text-to-speech model, and then S2A model. Now, this um, semantic codec converts speech to semantic tokens. This acoustic codec converts speech to acoustic tokens and reconstruct waveform from acoustic. This T2S predicts semantic tokens with text and prompt semantic tokens, and that is what we are trying here. And then we have this S2A, which predicts acoustic tokens condition on semantic tokens. And you can, some of them are still in development still further, and some of them are already good enough. And you can read further about them on their model card, and I will drop the link to it in video's description. And these are the models it is downloading at the moment. So let's wait for it. And now we have launched our Gradio demo and you can see that now it is running on our local host at port 7860. So let me launch it in the browser. And there you go, you can see that now mask GCT text-to-speech demo is running on our local host where you can simply upload a sample audio file which I told you earlier when we were discussing the model. You can also give it the target text and then click on submit and it is going to generate the speech from that text with the context of your prompt. So let me upload an audio and give the target text and then we will run it. Okay, so now listen to this. So I have up uploaded this prompt.wav file. Let me play it. We, we do not break. We never give in. We never back down. And the target text is that please subscribe to this channel if you like it. So the model is going to clone that voice and speak this text. So I have already clicked on submit. It has generated this. Let me play the generated audio. Please subscribe to this channel if you like it. Thanks. Not bad at all. Not really bad at all. And now let's try out a female voice. So I'm just going to select a file from my local system. This is a female voice. So let me first play it. Then, leaving the corpse within the house, they go themselves to and fro about the city and beat themselves with their garments bound up by a girdle. Okay. And now let's submit it. So it is converting. It is showing us the ET of around 34 seconds. So let's wait for it to finish. Okay, that's already done. That's cool. Let me play it. Please, please subscribe to this channel if you like it. Thanks. So you see the voice is almost identical. So let me play it again, the original. Then, leaving the corpse within the house, they go... Let's play the generated one. Please, please subscribe to this channel if you like it. Thanks. Cool. And this slight pause or delay in the, at the start, this is the Gradio thing. This has nothing to do with the model, by the way. The voice cloning is quite good. What do you think? Now, I want to check if it also can capture the emotions in the voice. So I have given another target text that, ouch, I hurt my toe while walking. That's not good. I am in so much pain. So let's see if it is able to do the emotions too. Let's play it. Ouch, I hurt my toe while walking. That's not good. I am in so much pain. Yeah, well, it's okay. I mean, I won't say that it is showing that emotion. Let's try out some happy emotion. I'm just asking it. Woohoo, I did my graduation today and I'm so happy and over the moon. Let's see if it can capture that emotion. Woohoo. I did my graduation today and I am so happy and over the moon. Yeah, so it I don't think so it captures the emotion, but anyway, that doesn't even mention it on the model card. But I think it does what it says. It is quite good in terms of text to speech. The voice cloning is also amazing. And you can just uh, generate in any voice as I showed you both in male and female voice, which is really, really amazing. I will drop the link to it in video description. Play around with it. Let me know what do you think. 
if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching